Hey guys, welcome to another plan with me video. Today we will be planning for the week of January 23rd through the 29th. And as always, I'll be using my plum paper weekly horizontal layout. Let's sit down, get comfortable. Let's grab our planners and let's get to planning. guys let's dive right into planning our week i know i missed last week i was actually out of town for my sister's baby shower it was so busy that week but this is the spread that i had for the week of the 16th through the 22nd um i really like it i feel like i'm getting better with my decorating and my planner being able to utilize my stickers the right way or to just make them look prettier let me take my bookmark out all right, so let's do our usual planning. I'm gonna start with the left side over here. I always have to take the Ollie clip out. because It's always in the way. All right, so this week I think I wanna do, I, I want the theme to be blue, but I don't know if I want something like more of a darker blue like that, or we could do something like this, this plaid. It's more like a turquoise type blue. This one has purple in it too. I think I did this one last week but I um, use the purple accents more. I want something more blue. I think I wanna do this one. This one is pretty. I just really hope I can find some stickers that match this really well. All of my stickers are in here. I've been keeping them in this little pouch in my planner bag. So I'm gonna use some from here. And then I may do my Erin Condren Celebrate sticker book as well. And the one thing I've really been loving lately are these floral ones. They're kind of transparent. Here, let me show you from last week. See how pretty this is? The background is transparent, so they blend in really well. Here are the pink ones. I wanna do something blue this time though so let's do that um okay I think I'm gonna do that first find some well you know what no let's not because this blue doesn't match doesn't match very well with this one up here so that may not be a good idea let's see if we can find something in here instead I feel like one thing I never do in my videos is introduce myself just because I know I get new subscribers sometimes and or it may just be someone new watching the video. But my name is Sydney. Um, I have been on YouTube for just about a year now and I started last December in 2022. I've always loved planning. I've always been a really organized person and my sister got me into professional home organizing because she saw how my home looked and she was like, Sydney, you have to do this. I didn't even know that was a thing. So I started doing home organizing for a while, but once I had my daughter, it was just too overwhelming because um, I already have a full-time job as well. And then doing that on the side was just too much. So I stopped doing that and instead I looked into YouTube. Instead of or going to people's homes to organize, I can well, kind of be in your homes, but virtually helping you guys stay productive and organized in different ways by using your planner or just other tips that I can I can offer you guys. But yeah, that's where I am. I'm currently getting my master's degree in human services counseling. So kind of like life coaching at Liberty University. Um, I'm a Christian. I love God. Um, I'm married, have a husband. I have a daughter who's 19 months old. We actually just got her in speech therapy, y'all. And I'm pretty excited for that. I've been working a lot with her at home as well. Oh, okay, hold on. Let me see. I don't know. I feel like th this is what I was nervous about. I don't think there's a blue that matches really well. Maybe these here. This is like a darker turquoise. Or maybe the lighter one, but that's like two lights. Maybe what we can do is just do gold, all gold accents. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, let me see if I can find some pretty gold ones. Here's a good one. Plan on the agenda. I like that one. Let's do this. We can do that. Oh, that's straight. Yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> I hate when I put these on Cricut. Good thing is that these newer stickers that I have are really thick and they're easy to take off, put on and off. Oh, another thing, y'all. I just got an Amazon storefront. Well, kind of. I'm in the, um, they still have to review my page. But before they review, 
I have to have three people purchase from my links. I can obviously just do family, but I feel like I want to see if I can actually, you know, do it. I always have people asking um, about certain things I've gotten off of Amazon and certain videos, like in the what's in my bag, how to organize your bag type videos, or even on my Instagram. So I went ahead and applied. So I'm just waiting. I have to have three people purchase from my links within 180 days, which really isn't that bad. I'm pretty sure I will get it. But just a heads up, I will have my Amazon link hopefully on there by today. If not, I'll have some type of links there, but I want to put that Amazon storefront together pretty soon too. Let me see. I like this one, Go See Do. Like maybe I can put that here. If I don't like it, I'll take it off, but I'm going to put that here. Ooh, that one's on straight. Okay. Oh, I think I found a good one. Look at this. I feel like that really um, matches with the blue down here. I don't know where I want to put it. It's like here. Yeah, we can try that. Um, and then I just want to decorate this box some more. I don't usually do too much. I want to find a to-do one if I can. I think I may have found some that match again. I think this one, yeah, that looks good. I feel like there's a little bit too much empty space here, but maybe we can leave that in case I do need to write something. Probably not, but I think that's fine for now. All right, let's plan out this week. Priorities for this week, let me see. You know what, let me look at last week. So last week we were focusing on my daughter's new routine because she just, just started speech therapy. So I've been doing like a 30 minute learning activity with her every morning and then towards the afternoon we do a 30 minute fun activity, something that's more organized though. Like I'll take her outside and we'll play with bubbles and we'll work, work on that word. Oh, you know what? We are supposed to be doing um, a family day. Yes. So I wanna do a day. So once a month, I wanna um, do something with just me, my daughter and my husband, even if it's just a one day out type thing, like we take her to a museum, a park, something where we're out all day. All right, let me get my reoccurring task done first. work to do's we do have some stuff this week but well some things i know i want to do not necessarily like work specific but i do want to um finish making my work notebook it's something i'm going to put on my etsy shop but i also need it for myself make I'm gonna be putting it in my eight disc, um, disc bound planner. This is how I have it right now. And I was just using it as like a, um, a lazy girl planner at some point, but I do wanna use that for my, my work planner. Um, I do need to organize my files on my computer. It's getting a little too junky or declutter the files. Um, oh, I gotta put my time off for the year. I always like to put at least my expected time off um, for the upcoming year once January comes around. Put in PTO and vacation. Next, we'll do the dinner plans. And I have not done my grocery list yet, but y'all, I have not barely cooked this week. Like, let me see. I know I made garlic noodles on Monday. We did not do the steak pesto pasta, but my husband made steak, eggs, and um, what else did we have? Pancakes one night. So that was fun. 
I didn't do this. We did have frozen pizza and we did take out plenty. So yeah, I cooked a little bit, but not much. So we should still have a lot of stuff from last week. So hopefully when I go shopping tomorrow, I won't have, um, today's Saturday, by the way, I keep saying tomorrow. Y'all probably won't see this video until tomorrow, Sunday, or maybe Monday, but today is Saturday. Um, so I don't know what I'm gonna have for dinner just yet. And that's all for this side. All right, let's do this one. So I don't do a lot of decorating here. I just wanna put some washi tape on here. on straight this time okay and then our markers This is the one thing that I really have been sticking to is the color coding system I'm doing. I really like this, even though obviously I have all this like in my head already, so I really don't need to do it, but I like how it looks. And it is like a helpful tool. I feel like I wanna redo this a little bit. So Monday is laundry day. Tuesday is for self-care day. I feel like I wanna readjust the days. Wednesday is for business tasks. Um, and homework. I told y'all I was taking a break from school, but I changed my mind. I am back and I started again for the um, January semester. Thursday is zone cleaning and laundry day again. But another thing I've been noticing is I'm not doing laundry twice a week anymore. I'm just doing like huge loads one day a week, which is fine. I mean, I'm still getting it done. But I just, I don't know. I don't know if it's because I haven't had time to sit there and do laundry two times a week. Even though when you do it twice, it's less to do each time. But I still am just like doing everything in bulk all on one day, usually on Thursday or Friday. Friday is like a free for all day, but I usually will do my daughter's hair then. Me and my daughter's hair on Friday. So maybe that should just be hair wash day and I should pick another color for that. So I always just gray it out because I don't really have any specific priorities for that day. But again, lately, it's always been me and my daughter's hair. So we may have to, um, maybe I can do pink again because self-care is, cons hair is um, self-care essentially. So maybe I'll do pink on this one next time. Saturday is, again, content day. I always come in my office and I'm in here for hours recording all of my reels for Instagram, taking my pictures that I post for the week and then doing my YouTube videos. And then Sunday is supposed to be finance day, but I haven't been doing that either, y'all. I've been doing so good with saving um, and paying off debt, and our finances are good, but I'm not gonna lie, I haven't really been using my budget book like I usually do. Okay, let me let that dry. And then I always divide my sections up because I hate just having one single line. I'm not gonna use that whole line just for one task. So I will divide it up. And this has been working well. I told y'all when um, when I got this A5 planner, I was nervous that I wouldn't have enough space to plan. And I do, I have more than enough, honestly. I'm so glad I went with the A5. It looks a lot better. I like the slim, petite look. That's not enough space. I don't know why I made that so small. Oh, should I try four? Hmm. Um. Y'all, I kind of feel like I want to try four sections. I feel like I'm going to regret that, but oh well. Let's try it. Because when I write my tasks out, I write really... Oops. Um, I know how to shorten them up well enough to where I can still understand it, but I'm not taking up a lot of space to write. So, oh, I don't know. I don't think that's enough space. Oh, God, I think I really just messed it up. Oh well, let's just try, let's try. The reason why I want to add a, a, an extra section, the reason why I want to add an extra section is because instead of just doing to-dos, right, I used to like to write in timestamps, so a time schedule. So from five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, that's perfect. 
Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do, let's still put the, um, the check boxes there. That one is way too big. Making some of these way too big. I really hope this is enough space. I really do. I know I'm pushing it a little bit. Look how small, how tight or little space out I'm gonna have to write. I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna work out, but I'm gonna try for this day. I always, usually will get up at five. This week I have not. The earliest I got up I think was seven, and that's just because I had I had to take a shower. I've been on my time of the month this week, so I've been super tired. My daughter, her sleep has been a little bit thrown off this week, probably because we had traveled last week weekend. But yeah, I'm hoping I'll get back into my routine five to six a.m. So let's try five. Okay, I shouldn't have put the check boxes there with my dot markers. I should not have done that because now I can barely see the times there. But I mean, if you look really close, I can see it. It's just, yeah, I shouldn't have did that. But it's okay, next time I won't, but I'm still gonna try to do it this way. I used to love using this time layout when I had my daily planner, but now that I'm using the weekly one, I didn't think I had enough space to do that on each single day. So we'll try, because I already have my to-do list over here. So we can check things like that off on this side, and then over here, just use this as my weekly um, schedule. So let's see how it works out. Last thing. Okay, y'all, hold on. I found another sticker. <laughs> I want to see if this can... Oh, I don't even think that can fit. Could be here. Yeah, let's do this. Okay. Cool, we got that there. I was gonna find a laundry day sticker, but I really don't feel like it, so, oh well. All right, y'all, so this is our spread for the week. Over here on the left-hand side, we have everything planned out for the upcoming week. Over here on the right, remember I said I'm gonna try to do my time layout like I used to do, so from 5 a.m. to 8 p.m and see if there is enough space for me to write. Oh, you know what, a priority for this week? Oh, I forgot. So this, um, I always do zone cleaning on Thursday, but this week is actually monthly cleaning because I always do monthly cleaning the last Thursday of the month. And yeah, the 26th is the last Thursday. So we have our monthly cleaning tasks. And technically it's supposed to be spring cleaning because I'm supposed to do that in January, but I decided to push that back to February because January is way too busy. So we'll probably be doing spring cleaning the last two weeks of February. Ooh, you know what? Sometime in February, we will do that. So we'll get that done. But yeah, that's all for this week. Let me get my bookmark. All right, y'all, that is all for this week. I really appreciate you guys watching. Please hit that subscribe button. My subscribers have been going up so slow, but my watch time hours are going up really fast. I think I'm going to hit the watch time hours at the end of this month to get monetized, but I still need a thousand subscribers and we're only at six, 667 right now, I believe. So please hit that subscribe button, y'all. It will really help me out a lot. That is a goal of mine to get subscribed in the next month or so. Again, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.